It's always important for New Zealand uh, to participate and actively engage in these uh, APEC meetings. It's a good opportunity for us to hear what other countries are grappling with around uh, dealing with regulatory reform issues and also for us to remind the, the rest of the world that we're here, we exist, uh, we exist and we're keen to uh, trade and, and engage with lots of different countries. Well, uh, New Zealand uh, economy is uh, based on exporting around the world and so we're very interested in uh, getting better access to international markets for our goods and also for our services. And uh, so we, we do a lot of trade negotiations. But the, uh, the uh, regulatory side of the, the uh, uh, economic uh, world uh, and structural issues can, can often make it very diff difficult for New Zealand uh, companies to export uh, and to engage uh, in the service sector. And so uh, what this meeting is uh, about is trying to drill down to the detail around some of those uh, non-tariff barriers to trade, uh, regulations which make it difficult for overseas countries to trade effectively. Uh, and so that's important for New Zealand in two ways. Uh, firstly, the more we can uh, get uh, liberalisation of uh, this area, the easier it is for New Zealand companies to export and to uh, give their services, whether they're architecture firms or IT companies, uh, to get their, uh, their products and their services into international markets. But it's also important for our domestic economy also to have uh, the more we can have competition from international uh, companies in, in our domestic market, uh, the better it is for our consumers uh, and it, it keeps our local, local uh, companies on their toes and uh, working effectively. So you know, it works both ways and that's why it's important to be part of this discussion.